Good morning, y'all. Now, what is going on? Welcome back to Barb City. It's your girl, Barbie Ann. Okay, we are about to get into a little bit of tea. But before we do, please make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Please make sure your post notifications are on. Also, when we are done here, follow me on Twitter at The Real Barb City and Instagram at Barb City Pink Print. And if you would like to show your girl some extra love and support, please follow Follow me on my Facebook page and you also have the option of joining my membership okay with that being said you guys let's get right into this video first we are going to start off with the fact that Cardi B always has to insert herself somewhere where she feels it might get her attention okay as we all know which I'm not going to say a lot about it because there's not really a lot to report on it and I do feel like it's a very very um, serious situation and I honestly do don't want to speak about stuff like that on my platform okay but anyways you guys as you guys know um andrew tate was arrested you guys he was arrested for allegedly human trafficking okay so he is being investigated but besides all of that you know a while back he came for cardi b okay so Obviously, you guys, she took this opportunity to throw a little bit of shade at um, Andrew Tate, and she basically retweeted the post that Pop Base posted about him being arrested, and she basically said, well, 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 okay? So, as we all know, obviously, people were not going to be here for that, okay? Obviously, because Cardi B has a very lengthy felony criminal arrest record or whatever you want to call it. So she doesn't really have the right to talk about another person's background. And that's always been so funny to me for her to be a gang member, for her to be Miss Dangerous or whatever you want to call it. And for her to have the background that she does every time she has an incident with somebody online, she always looks up people's background with their real name and their birthday and the stuff. And she finds a way to call herself exposing them. Okay. And like I said, this is a known gang member or whatever you want to call it. Okay. But anyways, you guys, people definitely called her out for trying to ride this wave, even though it's so negative, she hops right on it. And here are the things that people had to say. You used to literally drug and rob men. Okay, and you can't compare what she did to what Andrew Tate did because it's not the same. What Andrew did is worse and sick as F. So that's how weird her fan base is. If you think there's a difference between human thinking and drugging and robbing people, you're weird, bruh. Like, it's the exact same thing. It's out of line, okay? Anyways, more people say things like, girl, you are the last person to speak. You should be locked up with him. Didn't you drug men and steal from them and then proceed to laugh it off? Go do your community service and stop trying to clout trace off these people's pain. Without me saying anything in defense of the Tate's lefties and feminists alike pretend i did and then defended someone admitting to drugging r wording and robbing men just more evidence that they only pretend to care about crimes to virtue signal and disgusting you're on thin ice too we saw those community service hours boo you are in the same boat as Tate. We don't like you either. Stop riding this wave. You always trying to ride people's waves. You're going out sad. And that's exactly why Offset cheats. His mind is so powerful. You drug men and you rob them. Y'all love bringing up people's past like she doesn't have money now. Is she drugging and robbing now? Like, what? But, but yet, we're not going to talk about people's past that y'all bring up all the time, okay? Even if it has nothing to do with the person that you guys are trying to drag, you guys will bring up people's past, okay? And not to mention, like I said, 
Cardi B is the number one person to go searching into a person's background to be able to expose them. Okay. Anyways, more people saying that doesn't justify the fact that she's done it. It doesn't erase it from her past. Imagine having a past of exploitation, then calling someone else out for exploitation. Imagine trying to justify it by saying it was in the past. You know she's bored. This is like the fifth time they have said this, coming from the woman who drugged men and robbed them, okay? So after all of that, people expressing how they feel about her trying to use this situation to her advantage, Cardi B actually had the nerves to respond and say, I don't care, which is not new, you guys, because she seriously does not care about anyone else but herself, okay? Whether Andrew Tate is um, guilty or not, there are real life actual victims in this situation, and we have no idea what those victims have endured, okay? And here, before anything comes out about the story, here Cardi B is trying to ride the wave. It's ridiculous. So the next thing we're going to touch on as far as Bacciana goes before we move on, you guys, is the fact that Cardi B, who considers herself an A-list celebrity, continues to do shows at clubs, okay? And I know that it gets done, but it's just not something that A-list celebrities do all the time. Opening acts are really for new celebrities like 77 cents. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, you guys, with that being said, Cardi B did perform WAP with Offset and they were doing a whole lot on the stage from what I've seen on Twitter. And a lot of people have mixed emotions about that because Cardi B and Offset are a married couple. Okay. So with that being said, you guys, they did perform at Club E11 in Miami. And like I said, there were a lot of people there. It looks like they were having a good time. Her and Offset were getting a little freaky on the stage, if you ask me, with um, a whole bunch of people watching them. And according to Twitter, people just were not feeling that, okay? So here are some of the things that people had to say. Honestly, this looks sad and pathetic and not something that the public at large should see or accidentally happen upon. I can't unsee it and that's the worst part of it all. Please don't upload this train wreck that thrives in negativity. We would be so much better off, okay? Another person said, no disrespect, but her butt looks like Pampers. Notice how she takes her husband everywhere so she can dance on him. Like, no, ma'am, don't downplay yourself. She takes her husband everywhere with her because she cannot trust her husband by himself, okay? Another person said, I love her. She's just having fun. Stripper vibes as usual. The kiss on the shoulder. I know they had some roughs last night. All that wop and she still got cheated on. Nah, she loves this man, like wholeheartedly adores him. Look at how she looks at him. That's that I effing love you look. Look like he got over that takeoff crap real quick because I ain't seen the other Migos since. So with that comment, you guys, Offset has been doing a lot of partying, okay? But I more or less feel like people mourn differently. And that's all I'm going to say about that, okay? Um, a few more people saying, I can't judge because if you can't do this with your husband, heavy on the husband, who can you do it with? Hate or love them despite their issues. They love each other. I'm going to cut it up with my husband every time. So like I said, you can have fun with your husband. You could turn up. But don't let other people know what your husband's capable of doing in the room. Because then these women will start throwing that cat and your husband might not be able to resist, okay? So with that being said, two more people said, I love them. They dead came a long way. And one more person said, she be having so much fun. So like I said, people have mixed emotions on the situation. Either way it goes, if you ask me, I feel like that's a lot to do in front of strangers with your man. And I feel like you should just have a little bit of class about yourself and act like a classy lady sometimes. Like, 
You don't always have to be that ratchet person all the time, okay? With that being said, you like you guys, let's go ahead and, ahead and get on into the next topic. So you guys, as we all know, Doja Cat spends a lot of time having fun on social media, whether it's TikTok, Instagram, or Twitter, okay? She does a lot of trolling to the trolls that troll her on Twitter as well. And she also spends a lot of time in uh, Twitter spaces, which is kind of like a live video experience except for you are not on the camera, okay? So allegedly, you guys, sometime during one of these chats, she did have to block someone, okay? And that person was very unhappy with being blocked by Doja Cat, and allegedly, they are now being investigated for threatening Doja Cat's life, okay? So I guess this person did send her a death, threat okay and with that being said you guys i am just hoping and praying that doja cat is okay and she's not worried looking over her shoulder okay i know that people talk and say stuff like this all the time but it should never be taken lightly when someone is threatening your life okay especially when you are a celebrity here are some of the things that people had to say black t blog said some guy is threatening to take her life because she blocked him in the chat rooms. There's an investigation now. I hope she's okay. She also said, didn't I tell y'all about Doja in my last video? I told her to stay out of them chat rooms. People are weird. I first saw this happening, praying for her safety. And a few more people said, I hope they find the weirdo sending her threats. And I hope that nothing bad comes to Doja. But also, Doja has to understand she's literally a pop star now. She's not just some random girl anymore. Her status has changed. She has to move differently now. And two more people, I hope she is okay, but she needs to leave the chat rooms. What's up with her and these chat rooms? So you guys, she's just being human, trying to have a good time. And unfortunately, it's being ruined for her okay on to the next topic you guys so apparently bad bunny is up for fire okay people are not happy with him apparently one of his fans tried to show him some love and they got a little too close to him but according to him it had nothing to do with how close the girl was he felt disrespected because she came up to him with the phone and was recording okay but anyways you guys Pop Crave posted this, Bad Bunny is under fire for throwing away a fan's phone after they violated his personal space in the Dominican Republic. Okay, so yes, you guys, there is a video going around. Bad Bunny basically grabbed the phone out of the lady's hand and he threw it quite some ways, okay, over the tree and everything, okay? And people were just not here for it, but he did respond to the backlash and he basically felt disrespected. And here's what he had to say. The person who comes up to me to say hello, to tell me something, or just to meet me will always receive my attention and respect. Those who come to put a phone in my face, I will consider it for what it is and a lack of respect and I will treat it like one. Okay, so basically you guys, um, he felt disrespected by that person that came and put the phone in his face. I would have felt disrespected too. Like you guys are not my family members. You're strangers. I don't know you, although you are my fans. I don't know if you're one of my fans. You can't just get up on me and start recording me. So I understand at the same time though, you don't just grab somebody's phone and just throw it, okay? You tell that person like, hey, can you give me my personal space? But anyways, you guys, here are the things that people had to say. A rich person having no regard for the property of the working class. Are we shocked? This sucks because I feel like it could have definitely been handled differently and those men around him are not his security. If he doesn't want them doing stuff like that, then they need to do their jobs and protect him. In 2023, can we please bring back B-A-L-L-S's because y'all are so sensitive now. This man 
did nothing wrong. You guys, I'm so scared of you talk YouTube. I cannot believe I just spelled the word balls. Okay. Anyways, you guys, people said, I like him, but this was very unfortunate. Imagine if this girl is poor and can't afford a new phone. He didn't even ask her to give him some space before taking the phone from her hand. They violated his space. The F y'all want him to do. We support his decision. That's absolutely rude and disrespectful. These are the people who pay your salary. The least you can do is treat them with some respect. You don't have to want to take a photo, but you can politely ask them to leave rather than throw their possessions. And I definitely feel the same way. Like these are your fans. These are the people that support you. And your fan in that moment was probably starstruck and so happy to see you you know what i'm saying for you to take her phone and throw it probably just broke her heart and you probably lost a really good fan like i understand what she did was wrong but she'd seen someone that she likes and someone that she probably really really supported so that was very unfortunate you guys a few more people saying everyone pays everyone's wages the f that gotta do with someone's personal space he never said he was a good bunny. Top tweet, people need to stop acting like these celebrities are their best friends. You are a complete stranger to them. You can't just run up, invade their personal space and start recording. And one more person said, what makes celebrities think they can act like this? Okay, so girl, to answer your question, it is the money. And all I can say is I am blessed and happy that I stand someone who loves and appreciates her fans, okay? On to the next and very last topic. So you guys, I want to take the time to send congratulations to the group BTS, okay? They have been a group for a while now, and it's very rare that a group sticks together with no drama, no issues, and they just continue to do an amazing job, okay? So again, congratulations to BTS, you guys. They were voted the most successful group and group of 2022, okay? And I also want to point out that they've been the most successful group in the music industry for the years of 2016. 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021. And now here we are in 2022. Okay, so like I said, congratulations. And here are some of the things that people said. Songs with the most number ones on iTunes in history. Number one, BTS Sweet Night. Number two, BTS Black Swan. Number three, BTS Your Eyes Tell. And number four, Adele Hello. Someone else said literally who the F is BTS. And y'all know there always has to be that one person being disrespectful, okay? Um, another thing, BTS in 2022, number one group on Spotify, number one group on YouTube, number one group on Mion, number one group on Amazon Music, number one best-selling K act, number one awarded group, number one most nominated k act in the grammys okay and also a few more people said what a year let's go for this year too priority this year to youtube since we don't have a group song if we want them to continue being the most listened to group on youtube we have to focus on that app the MVs released in 2022 don't even reach 70 million stream on YouTube. So I guess the BTS fans are now going to focus on the YouTube app. You guys, so that is so awesome to see another fan base that's willing to go hard for their faves, okay? Because we see a lot of stuff like um, people trying to put fan bases down for doing streaming parties and buying parties and stuff like that. But what they don't understand is the longer they have that mindset, they are actually holding their faves back because when they sit back and have that mindset, like we don't have to do all that, we're not doing all that. The other fan bases are going to be doing that and are going to continue doing that. And we will always continue to win. Anyways, with that being said, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I love you guys so much. Thanks.